as some of you know, I have a new family member. Meet Momo. She's a one-year-old rescue husky that was abandoned twice before Shenzhen local and fellow YouTuber Daniel Dumbrio stepped in and bought her to come live with me. The link to that video with her backstory is in the description box. Now, of course, Shenzhen is really hot and does not have much of a winter, so it's not the most suitable place for a snow dog. It would be pretty irresponsible to get a husky deliberately if you live here, but with a bit of effort, lots of air conditioning, lots of love, and lots of walks, I think I can make a good home for her. Because Momo had been abandoned twice, when she came to me, she would get very anxious if I was out of her sight for more than a minute or two. The first few days, she was next to me the whole time. Now it's been two weeks, and we gradually work working our way up. Now she can be on her own for about an hour with no problem. The other thing is, Momo was very very shy. You know, a little too well behaved. Like she's scared of doing something wrong and getting abandoned again. Everyone wants a good dog, but Momo was just too scared to even act like a dog and get up to any normal dog mischief. But she's a lot more comfortable now and willing to be a little naughty, although she's never destructive. She she does have a lot of energy though, and there are a lot of dangerous and expensive things in my studio. So you often see her tether in my videos, but don't worry, that's just for her protection and just in this room. There's a big area upstairs and outside for her to run around and play off leash, but in a workshop, not a great idea to have a husky running around. Anyway, now now that Momo is settled and feeling secure here. I'm going to let her try to do a video with me today and review a smart pet product. But I told the company if the product upsets or scares her, there will be no review and no video. I won't be pushing Momo to do anything she's unhappy with. But Husky's like mental stimulation, so I think she'll do okay. And if not, that's okay too. She can have a snack and take a nap by the AC instead. Today, Momo and I are going to take a look at Pupki. It's a robot for your pets. There are a few of these on the market and no real leader in terms of best design. They are intended for people who can't be home with their pets as much as they like, but still want to make sure their pets are happy and entertained. Most of these devices, including the Pumpkin, also allow you to remotely play with your pets from your office or wherever you are. Now, there is no unboxing today because this is a working prototype. The design is fairly straightforward. It has ultrasonic sensors, a camera, and this opens so you can put trees inside. It have, has four mechanical wheels which enable movement in any direction. I'll show you how that works as soon as I sync the app. Okay, the app is called Rocky and is connected to the Bluetooth. Hi there, online, see it. You can turn on the video to see your pet. So, yeah, I can see more and more and I can control this other two control. Give you some treat. Momo is a treat. See, there are some treats. The treats.
What about the voice recall? Hello, Momo. The voice recall works so you can remotely talk to your pets if you are somewhere else. So I'm going. I'm going to go upstairs and try to do that. Okay, Momo. I'm going to use the leash. Okay, a few things. First, some design notes. Momo is about 20 kilo, but as I said, she's not a destructive or aggressive dog. If she or dog her size really wanted to, I'm pretty sure they could destroy the pumpkin. So it's not appropriate for a dog that likes to destroy its toys or yours, or is likely to see the pumpkin as prey instead of a playmate. Other issues, Momo never ever poops in the house. If your pet has accidents and that accident gets in those mechanic wheels, you're never ever getting all the poop out of there. Another issue is the robot has a camera and microphone and can wander around your house. No, I don't think the company wants to spy on you, but even on high-end equipment, this can be hard to skewer properly once it leaves your home network. 
there is a considerable risk to your privacy here. Next, the campaign. A lot of people get angry when finished commercial products are crowdfunded. That happens because when ideas and prototypes are crowdfunded, sometimes people don't get what they backed. The folks behind the pumpkin seem like good people, but this is a prototype, not a finished product. If you back this and something unforeseen happens, do not blame me. I'm not vouching for their manufacturing capability in a way that I have for other companies where I am familiar with their factory and founders. It's a great little prototype, but it is a prototype they are crowdfunding. Final verdict. It works and we have a lot of fun with it. It's also fairly easy to go from something like this to a finished product in Shenzhen. Although again, I'm not vouching for that. But if you like smart toys for your pets, this is a really fun one. Okay, that's it for today. Did Momo do a good job? Yes, she did. If you would like to see more videos with Momo, let me know in the comment section. That's it for today. And remember, if I can do it, anyone can do it.